So I made a couple things today. The first thing is this uh, little horseshoe shamrock. It's just uh, I bought a couple of horseshoes and you know, just welded them together and uh, put a little tail on the end of it there. I burned my hand <laughs> pretty good. And, uh, I don't know. Just a little messing around in the garage today. But uh, it's kind of nice to use the brand new shoe, shoes there because they're nice and straight and flat. But uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it's just a little funky wall art, I guess. I'm going to paint it black and hang it up with the rest of my stuff. So just put a little twist. I kind of messed up the twist a little bit. Put a little twist in the end here and a little taper there. And, uh, Little Mitsubishi symbol. <laughs> three diamonds there. Uh, I also made another hardy tool in the forge today. And uh, it's for uh, bending stuff. Uh, you know, you take like a piece of stock and heat it up and put it in there and you know, bend the item. But, uh, yeah, you know, you. Know, didn't have enough metal to make this one inch uh, wide piece, but uh, I had a couple of strips of uh, material and I welded them all together. There was four of them, welded them all together uh, with the stick welder and then put them in the forge and then uh, beat the crap out of it and then uh, and shaped it for the hardy hole. And uh, there you go. Uh, the pins, I uh, drilled out the plate here, a yeah, nice big hole about as big as my finger I guess, and then uh, turned this upside down and welded through the bottom into the pin so that there's a nice, nice flat surface here and a round surface here to work with, so yeah, just a little hardy tool. I made yet another one the other day and it was just with these bolts, but then I realized just this right here isn't going to be round, and then you've got the threads on the bolts, and ah, just yeah, it's, it's not as nice as that one, but it's mean, still usable, I guess. But, uh, I also use this tool here, the little hold down tool. It worked really nice today. I really beat the crap out of the old anvil today. I was really curious about some of these numbers on here. I don't really know what they mean. Uh, I'm start researching it, I guess. That's a zero. And that's a five and I haven't been able to make out there's some kind of logo on here I haven't been able to make out what the heck that is either but uh, curious to know who made the anvil I'm also curious I realized that there are I knew there were these little hold down holes here but there's a hole like this just a tapered hole that goes up in there it's real narrow. Uh, it was about that far. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Two inches or so. And uh, it's the same thing on the other side. Real narrow, tapered hole. Well, it's not, it's narrow on the inside. I don't know if that's to. Uh, I don't know if it's a hole for making something with, or I don't know. But uh, I'm curious about these numbers here. The surface of my anvil is. Yeah, it's, it's it is what it is. I don't really have any idea how old it is, but uh, uh you know, it's it's not bad. It's for all the crap that I do. Yeah, I could clean it up a little bit, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's a nice tool. The anvil is nice. You think you wouldn't use it, but you do. Yeah, I got an old railroad tie here too. That's good for beating the crap out of something. Uh, also, you know, it's got a, like a big I beam basically. You know, you can you could bend stuff around here or here. Or I guess you could use the holes to bend things too if you want. So that's a handy that's handy to have. You know, I've got all kind of crap flying around down there. And there's a I got a box full of ammo crate over there is full of uh, oddball shapes and stuff, so 
going to be making some more tools. I'd like to get some some better hammers. Uh, I've been using this big one. And I've got this little one here. I think that's for body work, I think. Yeah, what I got another big one here. A little mallet. Uh, again, I got these ones, but I think they're for body work. But I, I still beat on stuff with them. Why not? You know, if it does what you want. I got a couple of ball peens and got this brass hammer here. But uh, most of, mostly I'm just using the, these two. And, uh, I use the ball, little ball peens. And I use this one sometimes. So. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm uh, starting to make things here and uh, I'm really using the forge. I'm still on one bottle of uh, propane. I'm really uh, excited as to how long the propane lasts for. I thought it would uh, be gone in a couple of hours. Uh, I really should have kept track of how long uh, the, the, uh, I've been using it for, but I'd say that uh, so far, I, I want to say that probably close to 10 hours, I think, of running time. And I'm running it between 5 and 8 PSI. Today, when I was working on the 1 inch piece, I ran it at 10. And uh, the blower has can keep up with it, no problem. But uh, I've been just kind of lifting the tank up and shaking it. It's feeling pretty close to empty. I need to get a second tank. So it's been real fun. And uh, need to start making some tongs. Now I have one pair. It's not the greatest pair. Uh, I guess I should share up my skills, start making some of those. So there you go.